Hello everybody, welcome to part 7 of my scythe playthrough on ultraviolence. Yeah, I changed it up a little bit. Actually, I think it changed back to what I used to say, but eh, uh, whatever. I just realized I didn't actually show the uh, save at the end of the last video, but that's okay. Here we are. Oh no, I know what this one is. I do know what this one is. Oh boy. <laughs> This one's kind of, um, kind of infamous. But anyway, if you've never played Scythe, this is the one, well, essentially you have to speed run this one. After you cross that, uh, I think, I don't know what the exact, um, trigger is for it, but after you pass a certain point in this little intro area, it ends up triggering a crusher that kills a player clone. So yeah, it's kind of a speed run map. Only 22 enemies, not including Lost Souls. So, um... I don't know, let's give it a shot. Let's see how many failures we have. Okay, blue key. I'm assuming I have to go there. I heard a bunch of explosions. I'm sure that's probably... Um... Okay, I can't just open that. Is there a switch? There's gotta be it. There we are. So up here, around here, oh, and there's the crusher. Wow, all right, so you have about, feels like about 30 seconds. All right, here's take two. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking those random explosions are just basically the, uh, Sign that the map has officially started. Oh. There we go. Almost increased the F-bomb count. I wonder if I could just jump over to that other side. Damn it! I need to take that corner better. Whee! Alright. Take three. Here we go. Kind of feels like, uh... <laughs> Non SR40 people. No, oh, bastard. Like, if you don't know how to SR40, you might as well just not even try. Alright, uh, nope. Maybe with an SR50, but no, that seems kinda. kinda far. So, alright. Still in the discovery phase. That's the thing, like, with those rockets, if I don't. if I, uh. don't grab them first try. I really don't have time to... Oh, jeez. This damn Lost Souls. It actually seemed to work better when I pre-sniped some of them. Did that... Hmm. Right. Okay, come on. Yeah, about 30 seconds. Alright, so I need to stay to the right side of that platform. This is, uh... Very... Oh boy, I don't know how many people would have read this. There's this one uh, blogger, uh, Seamus Young. Um, I kind of followed his uh, a blog. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, I'm kind of focusing on multiple things. But followed his blog for a while, and he had this thing they just kind of accused the GTA games of doing called uh, Do It Again Stupid. Where basically you pretty much needed prior knowledge. Oh, I came so close to making it that time. <laughs> okay, I love that player clone behavior, but anyway, kind of just where it does things where you you couldn't possibly beat the scenario unless well that's a restart unless you uh, already knew about something and kind of using just the example of cars just sort of darting out in front of um, your GTA protagonist and um, kind of see the same thing happening there like. This is already a pretty good challenge just to make it here in time. Oh man, imagine ultra, like UV maxing this. But then throwing in little stuff like parts of the platform just falling away. Ah, oh, damn it. Should have pre fired those rockets. But, um, just kind of icing on the cake, really. 
But yeah, it's like already a bad challenge. But I mean, if there was something maybe telegraphing that, that would have been, I would have less of a problem with it. But there isn't. Okay. Oh, sh that startled me. Uh, I really could use one more. Go away. Yeah, I think I'm dead. All right. <laughs> you know, I was uh, chatting with someone. Actually, I think um, it was on Decino's, um Discord, and I think it was actually Decino who mentioned that uh, Map 28 was on his list of memorable maps for the wrong reasons. <sighs> I think I could see why. <laughs> yep. Done. Oh, jeez. This is... Hmm. <sighs> okay, I mean... I really need those rockets. I mean, I... I appreciate the concept. I do. But... This is so just... I don't know, if there was like an entire megawad made of maps like this, or just like a mini megawad or something, I'd be fine with that, but this is just thrown in. And you basically have to be perfect. You can't... You have like... Very little leeway. Look at that! Look at that! I mean, maybe... Hmm. I'm almost wondering if I just launch myself through there, like, just as a dead corpse thing. Dead corpse? That's a little bit redundant. But, uh, nope. Rockets. Missed them. Also have the BFG. I keep forgetting about that. Not that I can really get close enough to the whatchamafudget, although I might be able to take out... Wait, here we go. Nope. Missed those guys. That went well. But, oh geez, what was I going to say? I'm getting kind of flustered at this point. My movement in Doom is not particularly... Yes! Okay. <sighs> well, there was map 28. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I think I definitely peaked my mic there. Um, Alright, well that was... I don't think it was be as bad as the last map, actually. Um, because at least with that one, the attempts are nice and quick. It's kind of like the whole Super Meat Boy thing. Sorry, I had to take a quick drink. Stay hydrated. But yeah. That kind of gives me, like, Super Meat Boy vibes. I don't... <laughs> it's very out of place in this wad. That's, I think, the issue that I kind of take with it. Because it's like, all of a sudden, you go from... Actually, that's kind of a thing with Scythe in general. It doesn't really fit one motif at all. So it almost... I don't know. I guess if you're kind of a variety Doom player, then that would work. But it has, like, slaughtery maps. It has... Uh, puzzly type maps, I guess. I, I don't know what I'd call, like, some of the ammo deprived ones like 22 but anyway that was relatively quick so let's just move on to 29 hell on earth I remember the aesthetic for this Ve oh, hello so uh yeah Fighting Hell Knights with shotguns. And there's a lot of chaos going on outside. Also, I don't think this is on Earth. It kind of looks more like it's on the moon. <laughs> or, I don't know. I don't even know what to make of that sky. This is a thematic shift. Nope. Are you kidding me? An arch file when I only have, like, really wimpy bullet weapons? Uh, 
At least the only thing you can resurrect are mm, those things. Actually, I'll just do that. Hey, if you're going to give me an unlimited supply of ammo. <laughs> uh, hello. Another one? Are you serious? Yeah, um... Okay, how many arch files are you going to put at me before I even have a decent weapon? Okay, this is kind of open world-ish. Um, okay, a giant arrow pointing me over here. Oh. Armor? In scythe? Oof. Nope. That was a stupid move. At least I got the armor, though. Well, I'm basically stuck not being able to do anything. Oh, great. <sighs> Can you at least give me, like, a super shotgun before you start throwing arch files left and right? That'd be pretty fantastic, I think. Alright, so this guy needs to die over here for sure. Okay, um, my shots were going right through him. <laughs> Is that just a very unlucky block map, whatchamafudget? Oh, this is not good. Oh, max damage roll. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and those guys are not helping. <laughs> I think that's actually what... Yeah. So I should probably grab this. Oh, I didn't even notice that other armor. So now we have two arch files to deal with. And borderline unlimited supply of uh, bullets. Uh, no. Bad. Oh, damn it. I have no health. <laughs> Holy crap. I wonder if I can get them to in fight with the revenants. Nope, there's one. Another volley, please. Please and thank you. Wait a minute, did... Did those not hit the revenants? No, they didn't. Okay. Jeez. Uh, Are there just good weapons that I'm just missing? Of course, I guess it didn't really do much outdoor exploration. I just kind of saw the armor and got excited. Okay, there's a super shotgun. Guarded by a freaking arch file. Okay. Oh, jeez. Some ways you get stuck in the Doom Engine are just weird. <laughs> Alright, um... Shells. Very welcome. I'm starting to feel like most of this map is populated with just arch files and revenants. Super shotguns on every corner of that. <laughs> That's weird. What else do we have here? Heard a hell knight. There you are. Okay. Cyber demons, presumably behind those walls. That's just how it's gonna have me use all my ammo, just fighting arachnatrons, isn't it? Oh, boy. I got scared for a second. <laughs> so I don't know if I would have been able to survive another hit. Well, at least the arch file's in fighting, so, um... Oh, I should have grabbed the health first. Oh, well. It's fine. 
Whoa, that was close. Right. I do not remember how this map flows, so... I'm assuming you go up there. Yes. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. That wasn't horrible. Um, that arch file can... Oh. A ton of things that could snipe me. Perfect. Another Revenant. At this point, I'm just glad it's not an arch file. <laughs> I've already seen a few too many of those. Oh boy. I wish I could remember. This is like one map where I wish I could have remembered a little bit more, more of. Aside from just oh, Caco Cloud. That is. Oh, hi. He's having. Oh, are you serious? At least I have this now. I'm just really tired of seeing Arch Files. Okay. And now I'm kind of paranoid because, um, how many more of them are... Oh, jeez. How many more of them am I going to have to deal with? <laughs> That's where I wish I was doing continuous playthrough. That BFG in the last map would have been really useful. Did that clip through a wall? Kind of looked like it did, but I can't really tell. If it did, shame on you, hackers. Oh, boy. Yep, yeah, plasma. Where's that other one? I saw another one. Did you go around the building? I think he went around the building. Let's just finish him off with bullets. Gone. Alright. <sighs> oh, look. <laughs> Still, probably not as many revenants there were in the last map. Oh, bullets. Or shells. Whatever. Oh, hi, Cyber Demon. Yep. Oh, there's that caco. Yeah, I should really be careful of these uh, no clipping projectiles because I'm getting like an inordinate amount of them. Rocket launcher would be kind of. Kind of sweet. Um, there we go. Oh, thanks, Auto Aim. <laughs> there we are. Oh, it's just them. Maybe him. I don't know. No, oh, devil is Cyber Demon. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think I could make it back. Oh, Barons. So glad to see you. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Jeez, uh, that was a lot to deal with. Alright. Kind of thinking, after I get that blue key, I should probably... Well, I should say after I get the plasma rifle. Should probably do a, a quick diversion and snag that um, blue armor. That'd probably come in handy. Oh, of course. Should've looked, should've looked better. Oh, God. Just think, I don't want the damn archfile to be able to resurrect him. That's the... <laughs> oh, sorry. One of the archfiles, because, you know, there's two. Should not have hit that first. Oh well. Oh great. Thanks for thanks weapon switch. Good feature. Well implemented. Okay, so shoot these guys, punch them with bullets. Then engage the Hell Knight. Five. I need to count this just so I know for the future when I inevitably die again. Six, seven. About seven, probably eight. Alright, so... 
Door first. Switch second. Oh, great. That's not good. Why can't I move? I don't know what I was stuck on. Maybe the one of the arts files? Oh, jeez. That was horrible. Well, at least I have some health pickups still. I... Uh, <laughs> and that. We'll just go ahead and... Do this. Take this guy out. That way this is a relatively safe place. Okay. And now we get this. And sure. Oh no. Yes, open field with a freaking arch file. Thanks. Mm, there we go. <laughs> that is one confused spider. Are you still coming? Okay, I was going to say. Trying to punch these guys. There we go. I did it. Alright, what I really need are one of those... I don't know how I got this to happen last time, but... If that Mancubus can shoot that arch file... Somehow. Because I can use this. Oh, wait. These first... Of course. Yeah. Thanks. Why? Why? Like... <laughs> it's like practically unavoidable damage. Like you can't really get any of the power-ups or anything. Unless the arch file is distracted. It's kind of hard to distract the arch file without going like toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. One, two, three... Oh. Right. There we go. I think that was five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, I was gonna say, where's the imp? <laughs> Not yet. Ooh, double kill on chain gunners. Alright, so let's not repeat what happened last time, because that was a disaster. What the... No, just keep resurrecting those guys. Give me free bullets. Where are you going, sir? And... There's number... Where's the second one? That's weird. Out there? Oh, hi, there you are. Oh, what the heck? I got stuck on something. I I don't understand what happened there. Oh, well. It's still not as bad as last time, so I'll take it, I guess. <sighs> Alright. Spider kid. Spider kid. Does whatever a spider kid does. Alright. Fantastic. Archvile over that way. Revenants over that way. Whole lot of crap. So I could do this. I can do a drive-by on the super shop. God, I hate that so much. Why would you design a map where the arch file basically has that much of a... I wonder if I can just lure him over here and just take him out like that. Because otherwise... Oh, cool. No, that's too far of it. Ah, jeez. I don't know. That's That feels like cheap enemy placement to me, but... 
Whatever. The heck is getting so excited? <laughs> So I need to figure out a way to take out that arch file. Problem being that it basically has the tactical advantage. One, two, ish, three ish, four, five, six. Oh, well, it's not super bad. Right. Unleash the Archies. Ooh, that was close. Jeez. Alright, where's the other one? There you are. Man, your pathfinding is uh, taking you some places. Where are you going? So if I stand here, I should be in a fairly safe spot. I just can't let the Archvile join me in this here uh, cabana. This is getting really annoying. Thank you. Alright, well that could have gone worse. <laughs> Not particularly great on ammo, but my health is kind of up there. kind of curious about is how that arachnotron was able to see me considering its uh, back was facing me alright how do I deal with that arch file okay that spider definitely needs to get taken out of the equation oh, are you going around this way are you going around this way there you are goodbye so I can use that shotgun ammo. What I really need to do is find cover for that arch file. The problem is, you got the central pillar there. And then, you end up getting sniped by the mancubi. So... Kinda damned if you do, damned if you don't. Oop, hi. Oof. Let's take you out. I know there's those Ragnatron's around there. I'm just not even gonna acknowledge their existence. Because if I pretend they don't exist, that means that they don't exist, right? I wonder if I can... There's a lot of, uh... opposition for some reason. So I guess if I can do that... Man, there are just so many fireballs. They're... That's a long distance. Oh, you too? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, running away, I see. Of course. I really wish I had a uh, some sort of range limitation, because... I don't know. That just doesn't... <laughs> that would make this play a lot better, put it that way. Fortunately, I was able to leave some health here this time. Nice. Hmm. I don't have enough ammo to deal with those guys. Shells over here. Take care of these two before I inevitably forget about them. So I think what I kind of... Ugh. Turns out if you hit both A and D at the same time, um, nothing happens. Is that...? Huh. Nope. That's just the thing, like, I'd, I... I want to get the Berserk, I want to get the Supercharge. Problem. What the...? Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. 
back here once again. Thank you, I will cherish that shot to the face forever. One, two, three, four, five, six. Always a max damage roll. Always. Not for me, though. Unless I'm on the receiving end of a projectile. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was wrong. Yeah, I'm not doing super well on health. Right. Is this one here? Yeah. Come on, Archie. Yeah, this is, uh, not exactly on my, uh, top ten list of favorite things to do in Doom. I mean, super shotting Archies, yeah, I'll, I can do that. Shotgunning them? Not really a huge fan, <laughs> gotta admit. Kind of almost running out of things to say at this point, because uh, it's just basically banging my head against the wall until I succeed. Really? That was line of sight? Come on. <sighs> Jeez. I think the. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Jeez. I, I think this would be a lot, like, legit, would be a lot less uh, frustrating if you started with a super shotgun. This is just tedious. Because you always have to take this guy out. It's probably about five, because I half missed on a bunch of those. But so you basically have to take this guy out in a very specific spot, otherwise the Archviles can resurrect him. Then you have to clear out enough of the outside area. Alright, switch. Archvile. I thought the Archvile was going to resurrect the Hell Knight and I was going to cry. The salt was going to flow. Imp doesn't give me ammo. Come on. Right, where's the other one? Stuck on the stairs? Stuck somewhere. Alright. I think if that one arch file were a little bit more contained too, that would be... Um, I mean, if it were me, that's kind of how I would have done it. Where's that other archie? I can't really safely leave until he's gone, so... Of course. There's just... There you are. Oh, I'm stuck. Well, thankfully I was able to push him back far enough. Love when you're able to rapidly put him in his pain state and uh, just kind of <laughs> end up with so much fire on you. Uh, I kind of want to save this health. Going for that the blue key area. I think it was the blue key. Yeah, it seemed to go okay. Still, I would really like to have that soul sphere before I do that. That arch file is just making everything horrible. <laughs> mm. Did that Arachnotron get hit? Because that'd be nice if he did. I think he's going around the back. Yep. 
And fortunately, I'm using the super shotgun, so, uh, enjoy your stun lock. Ish. Stun lock ish. Okay, that worked. That. My god, that range is. not fun. It's like when you're in certain positions, you're just basically guaranteed to take a hit. And then when they occasionally just do that rapid fire thing, that does not help. Alright, chain gun for up here. Sarah, what. How did you survive that? Okay. Thank you very much for taking out that one. I will cherish this until my next death. Oh shoot, I forgot about you too. Lost a lot of health to that, and that was really dumb. <laughs> okay, there were two revenants in here, I think. No, that was the next hallway. Nice. I saw a fat imp out here. There you are. Hmm. And that does that. Because of course it does. Oh, he came out first. Uh, cool. That, that's, that's nice. Right. There we go. Back to here. Respawning endlessly. Something something purgatory. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, come over here. Seven, eight. Alright, that was good. Where is the... There you are. So, someone forgot the ambush flag on the imp, it seems. Alright, so there's that. I've gotten okay at taking out these arch files. <laughs> Very effective. <laughs> Thank you for the ammo replenishment, much appreciated. And apparently you've learned from the mistakes of your predecessor. Oof. I almost got tricked there. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. There we go. <sighs> I mean, I'm actually doing pretty okay on in terms of health, but I could change very quickly, especially with these guys. Do 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 do. Don't mind me. <laughs> right. Now he's down. So Okay, that's good. Them fellas are in fighting. Jump down here. Just attack so fast, too. Of course, 100% random, but, you know. Okay, that was better than average. Okay, I couldn't tell where that was coming from. That was that one jerk that... Is there anything around here? Oh, that's where that blue key thing is. Well, might as well take out the spider now. There we go. Oop, that was, uh, kind of nasty. And see, this is reminding me of downtown. <laughs> and that's not a good thing. Hey, thanks guys. 
Much, much obliged. So, you two remembered you this time. Snipe you from here. Yes, sniping. Mm-hmm. Cyber demons looming out, looming out that way. That's beautiful. I'm sure that won't cause me any problems. Actually, if that cyber demon will shoot over here, that would be very, very lovely. Oh, jeez. And now he's hiding. He is very shy, apparently. That is a really long distance. The odds of him actually taking that shot are pretty low. And yet he did it. Thank you very much. There we go. That's a bit better. So we're just gonna use about, uh, I don't know, go down to about 200 cells. That should be fine. Then we'll just use shells for the rest of it. Look at that, 200, right on the money. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I still have 87% normie armor. Hmm. Well, let's we'll go out this way and see what happens here. Alright, that's where the two revies are. Cool. Cyber demons out that way, so we should probably be very, very careful. And... Thank you, bye. Just gonna kind of take this nice and slow. Hmm. Do I want to charge them? Not really. Let's go ahead and just take one of these out. Are you serious? That was a damn near 90 degree angle. Uh, there's probably a monster blocking lined up on the bridge. Auto aim being its usual self. Just chain gun snipe this guy. While just camping out the door because that's how we roll. And I'm going to grab this armor. Hello, Saibi. I see you up there. Oh. Someone's, uh... Can't see him. Oof. Man, he is, uh... Very attack happy right now, isn't he? Okay. Let's, uh, go away from the Saibi. Okay, fantastic. So, um, going to save at the blue door this time. So that was a lot to uh, have to replay. I'm gonna try to avoid using saves on map 30 just because of its, you know, iconic nature, but the problem is getting there. And I have not been driving with this as much as I've been, uh, as much as like the previous episodes, so this point I kind of oh well I tried all right so let's take this nice and easy no panicking I saw cells over there that I really want so we're gonna take that just sort of fire wildly something hit me pretty hard got stuck on a dying baron. How terrible. This looks... Oh. I was expecting that to be trapped, but, um... Okay, cool. Let's 
go ahead and use uh, cells, shells. Yeah, boy. <laughs> there we go. This works. Ow. This worked. <laughs> um, Ancubus. Oh, boy. There are a lot of you, aren't there? Oh, jeez. It's so hard to fight on stairs. I wish I had the rocket launcher, but, you know, them's the brakes. Let's go ahead and plasma you. Well, you're really not much of a threat, are you? Not really. Oh. Now you guys, on the other hand, that is a lot of barons. Did something hit scan me? It kind of seems like it did. You know what? They're just... No. They were guarding a bunch of rockets, so I kind of assume that that probably means that there's a rocket launcher somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know at this point. I know when I do get the rocket launcher, I'm going to play, pay that one um, arch file near the entrance a bit of a visit. Oh, the texture alignment is just making me all kinds of sad. I don't know what that chain gunner was trying to accomplish, but uh, it wasn't working. Here we are. Right. Let's <sighs> trying to avoid that. Can you? Why are you? You're not a pain elemental. You're a pain, but. All right. Where did? Great. Now we've got a pain elemental on the loose. There you are. Goodbye. Oh. Shoot. So I have 54% blue armor. I'm gonna go ahead and just save that. Another one? Why couldn't I get through there? Oh, do you mention? I love you and hate you. Did that hit me through the wall? Well, at least I didn't save. Wrong one! Oh, geez, yeah, wrong one. <laughs> Nobody wants to do that again. Okay. So we got this again. How the... Come on. Go ahead and yank the, yoink this. Yank that. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't. I guess we don't really know what the Doom guy's doing to those blue, blue faces. So, ah, uh, yeah. Just forget I said anything, please. Right. So, um, oh, I didn't see the rocket launcher over in that other building. Uh, stuck on something. Oh, fighting on the stairs. What a good thing. Let's just go ahead and plasma you. Soften you up a little bit. Then get shot in the face by your friend. There we are. So we're going to go ahead and ignore that and just not use our cells because uh, I'd much rather use it on you. And this stopped being a 100% playthrough quite a while ago. <laughs> Alright, that should be good. I still do like to be a little frugal when it comes to cells, especially with how many cyber demons I've been seeing and hearing and all that good stuff. 
Okay. You a Hell Knight? Yeah. Oh, I got stuck on the wall. Man, I'm bouncing all over everything. Oh. Oh, momentum. You are such a pain. <laughs> Yay, Lost Souls, my favorite. There we go. The Lost Soul Machine is down. So I know there's an arch file somewhere. Oh. I just... One of the things I always love about Doom is how the, just the fact that the, uh, some of the hit scanners are more of a threat than, there you are, that's where you came from. But, yeah, oh, thanks. That's great. Shoot. What the hell did I get stuck on? I was holding right. Oh well. So I made a safety save. Because <laughs> this is getting a little tedious. Oh. It's a lot of rockets. I always forget about that chain gun guy that's right over there. Oh jeez. Whew! I think that was a slight improvement over last time. I just think if I would have had to go through that beginning area again, I probably would have went crazy. Because that was a bit of a slog, you know, taking out two arch files with a chain gun and a shotgun. My favorite. This at least is interesting. I mean, it's, uh... I can go with fewer stairs, you know, standard Doom Engine stuff and all that jazz. But, um... Yeah, the fights are interesting, at least. I mean, realistically, I could take out that one... You know what? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna wait for those arch... Not arch file. Revenant missiles to explode. I am going to go ahead over this way and take out that Mancubus. Because he was causing me all sorts of grief last time. It's just one. Come on. Show your face. Come on. There we go. So now we go back in here. Go up the stairs. Come on, Mancubus. Really? Not gonna fire? Go figure. Oh, now you do it. Actually went really well. Okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and shotgun these fine tan skin folks. Um, how the hell did you wake up? Alright, well, might as well. I always have to have something going a little bit wrong. Step. There we are. All right, you, you. Okay, that was the fastest pain elemental kill I've had so far. Okay, good. That is the only pain, fat manku thing. That's good. I don't even know how to talk at this point. I can't even English. That's the worst part, is that's the only spoken language I know, because 
you know. America. All right, let's try to trap you in here. Oh, jeez. So apparently, uh, being cautious is a good thing. <laughs> that is really close. Oh. Okay, so I'm assuming that unleashes the barons. Is that Cyber Demon just kind of patrolling, casually patrolling the courtyard? This kind of seems like uh, probably, probably is. Right. Yep. Down here. So I, mean, I guess I could take him out with cells. All right, you. All of you. Can you stop? Eh, that works too. Oh man, that was so satisfying. <laughs> ah, listen to that. Relative silence. Aside from the, uh... Ooh, there's two of them. I think now's a good time to save. I did end up getting the red key. That's yellow. That's nothing over there. So it kind of looks like there might be a little mountain thing to climb over there. Later. <sighs> right. Can I climb this? No. I mean, it looks like I eventually can, but in fact, if I remember correctly, that's where the exit is. It's been a while since I've seen anything about this map, as is probably pretty obvious right now. Oh, that, duh, I actually saw that, processed it for about a quarter of a second, and uh, then just promptly ignored it. This is kind of, um, I did see the BFG over there. Phew. Huh. I wonder if I can <laughs> do an item grab on this. Um, excuse you. Well, since you couldn't wait. So maybe an SR-50? Let's see if I can... Oh, that's... Why am I trying this? I've done item bumps before on like standard Doom 2 levels, but it's not something I'm good at. I'm just kind of curious to see if I can at this point. It might be in just far enough. I don't know. Either way. So after I grab the yellow key, that's when the next save is going to happen. I don't like the look of this. Ooh, all right, and that is me panicking. What? <laughs> oh, jeez. How the heck? I don't have the ammo f or the weapons for this. I mean, if I had the BFG, that'd be one thing. So, okay, let's do a quick backtrack over here. So it's over. Oh, I think I could do it like this. I'm just going to do this to re reduce tedium. Oh, and I did say I was going to do that after I got the yellow key. I'm just going to... SR... Nope, hit the wall. SR50 just to play it a little bit safer. There we go. Oh. You. There we are. Secret. It's practically mandatory if you're pistol starting this. Should I do cleanup, or should I just continue? I don't know. I'm just... I mean, there's enough enemies left where I kind of think that they might want to try to... Oh. I was expecting that to be a switch. Silly me. 
Well, at least I have this. Um, at least I didn't decide to just wait and get all the secrets at the end or something. Not that I've been doing that either. Man, I've been lazy. Whoa, baby. That was a nice way of softening everybody up. Alright, let's uh, get back to the action. Whoa. There we go. When in doubt, wait for the damn missile. So, I guess there's four cyber demons, and then whatever. Oh, I thought that was close enough to the door frame. Guess not. Hello, gentlemen. Right, so, um. Meh. Okay, that actually helps quite a bit. Wow, now we're over an hour. <laughs> Not long after I said I wanted to keep videos under a half hour, or at about a half hour. Yeah, I'll take you. That was a secret, really? Huh, okay. So, ten enemies left. I wonder what... What is actually left aside from, I think... That was bad. Oh. <laughs> okay. So six cyber demons. If my count is correct. Come on, fire. Fire, bubby. Oh, shame they can't hurt themselves with splash damage, isn't it? Right. I actually kind of like taking out cyber demons with a super shoddy. <laughs> Maybe not when that happens. All right, cool. <laughs> Okay, I think that's what... Oh, hello. Goodbye. So what's down here? Uh, shortcut to this. So I wonder if... Um... Oh, that looks cool. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Minor ADD moment aside. So I wonder if this is what kind of opens up this last approach. Yeah, yeah, it raised some of the stairs. So, just go ahead and, oh, I don't have any armor. Okay, um, yeah, <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh man, that took a while. Well, that was map 29, um, oh boy. How do I, how do I even describe this one? So the biggest issue I had with this one was the very beginning. Because there wasn't, I mean, when you got to basically after the blue key, I mean, there were a few challenging fights, but it wasn't anything too terrible. It was just getting those initial weapons and then just having to just shotgun and chain gun two arch files, basically just playing hide and seek the whole time. Ugh. I don't know. I think this one would have been a lot of fun if I would have started with some of the previous weapons. From a pistol start, though, I'm not crazy about it. Not as bad as level... What was that, 27? The, uh, <laughs> the site of the first F-bomb in this run? Yeah. So, I don't know. This one's okay. I, I think just in general... Aside from the very beginning of episode three, so far anyway, I mean, we're still getting on um, this bad boy. So let's just go ahead and make that save, and I will continue to BS. Yes, so 
I don't know. With episode three, from the beginning, like from pistol start, it wouldn't have been great because of map 21 and 22, that leaves you kind of resource deprived. But aside from that, I think most of these would have been pretty fun from a continuous playthrough. It almost, I, I don't know, they're possible from a pistol start, but that's like, which I mean, I guess makes sense because that's supposed to be your penalty for dying if you're not using saves, but yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend doing this from a pistol start. It's just, some of these later maps are kind of, mm, eh, I don't know. I guess we'll see how this one goes though. It and its whole 747 kills, but hey, this is the last one, map 30. Fire and Ice. This is kind of the one that I've been, I guess... I don't know if looking forward to is the right way of putting it, but the one that's kind of made me the most curious. And, uh... Mostly because of its reputation. The only speedruns I've seen of this one were, uh... Basically just... Bypassing most of the map. That thing. So I think there's a trick you can do with like just the way the exit gates lower. Um, I'm sure I'll remember it when I actually get to that point and see them again, but... But that's gonna have to wait until next time, because, uh... I think maps 28 and 29, I think that was enough Doom. But anyway, that was episode... Or... Which part was this? Part 7? Part 8? I don't know. I lost track. That was one of the parts of, um, my Scythe playthrough on Ultraviolence. And next time we are going to be tackling map... 30, the final map, Fire and Ice, which we are technically in right now. But uh, until then, have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.